So what are we working on today, dude? Running some wires. Get everything fed. And then we can just sit in the console and make things pretty. Alright guys, welcome to day one of rigging our 25 foot center console here, our 25 foot latitude. We are here with Corey at Kraken Marine. And today is the day when things start moving. In a previous video, we were at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show looking around over there, looking at all the boats on the market. And let's be honest, the elephant in the room over there, I mean everything was so dang expensive. Everybody has three and four motors. I like you know, minimalist stuff, simplicity, and Corey here at Kraken Marines on the same page as I am. We're gonna make this boat as simple as possible, but also robust in a, in a sense, as far as the rigging goes and the wiring. So that's what we're doing today. We're starting to run wires for the bilge, the speakers, the uh, bait pumps, all that stuff. So things are gonna start moving here. This is fun, this is the fun stuff. We got the fiberglass, we got the shell. Now we get to make it look pretty. So you're telling me what kind of batteries am I going to be using? I think we're going to be going with the lifelines. Lifelines, okay. So we're going to start with two lifeline batteries and we're going to consider doing a trolling motor on this boat. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do a trolling motor. Remember I just said simplicity and I'd rather fish it and feel the boat first and decide if it's going to be something I'm going to be using, if I'm going to be doing a lot of wreck fishing or if I'm going to need it to get in shore and get baits because the boat just drafts too much. Um, but we'll find out that later as well as the top. We're going to hold off on the top for a little bit and decide later on if we actually need it or if we like fishing this boat without a top. This, To me, this is a big bay boat, so I've always wanted a boat without a top on it. So that's what we're doing today. Hiding from the elements, we built this tent here to keep the dirt out of it, keep the sun, keep the rain. Worked out pretty nice. build your box for your battery switch breakers so we're gonna have a battery switch we're gonna have a dual circuit battery switch we're gonna have an ACR we're gonna have flush mount resettable breakers so we're gonna have a house main we're gonna have two electric reels we're gonna have amp and we're gonna have trolley but then I think I'm going to put a low voltage cutout module for your trolling motor batteries. Okay. That way you don't discharge them too deeply. You know, it'll cut you off before you take those batteries down below a point where they're not easy to charge again. You know what I mean?
our new wire marine switch panel just went in today the guys overnighted to us Corey basically took some measurements I chose all the buttons if you notice here that never really been done before but my live wells are first so like when I'm up front I can say second switch that's it for a live well right rather than somebody having to come over here and looking for a live wells usually your plumbing stuffs on this side so I did all the plumbing stuff here all the lights here and I can see all third switch, you know? Yep. That way people forward well, they're like, where the hell is that? You, know, you laid it out just how I would have laid it out. I like having my bilge and my nav lights in the first and last spot so you can okay. you know, find those quickly. Gotcha. And then we got USB here, right? Yep, those are good. Hopefully those last week longer than my last one. And that's going to be cool because I use a spotlight off that side of the boat a lot of the times our phone so I'm gonna need like a cup holder or something here eventually just to drop the phone into a little shorter. This is our new wire marine switch panel. I thought it came out great. If you guys want one of these, use coupon code REALREPORTS. When you go to their website, you'll get 15% off. And you can get one just like this. You can get even fancier than I did. And you can integrate you know, all your electronics into this acrylic here. Just have one big piece. I thought this Whisper Ray looked good, so I didn't want too much black here. It's kind of, you know, you see everything in the background. So I thought when I'm filming, if I had too much black here, you would be able to see me in the camera and all that stuff, you know? Well, I had this all laid out. I had a whole grid drawn out on here. Oh, yeah? Market centers. Okay. So it is it is 12 and a half inches perfect. 12 and a half inches perfect. Gaps. stand is people stack tire wraps on top of tire wraps on top of tire wraps. Good looking battery here. Not just good looking, it's all about performance, quality. Tell me a little bit about that battery. Uh, these are Lifeline AGMs. Uh, really high-end battery. Uh, we've got a starting battery here that'll give us plenty of CCAs to run that Verado. And we've got a deep cycle here to run the house systems. Um, we got high reserve capacity. Um, we get 1100 ccas at our temperature here out of this starting battery so really uh really good batteries they're gonna be nice and they're pretty and heavy so i've got a template for this so this is just this is our temporary Okay. And it'll be an exact template of that. But, oh, that looks nice. But cut out, you know, CNC cut, labeled, and all that. So.
did I find the guy or did I find the guy? When it comes to clean wiring, we got Corey from Kraken Marine over here and everything is coming out just the way I want it. We're on the same page as far as just being simple and clean. So please do hit that thumbs up button. It really does help get this series out there as well as good contractors like Corey. Check out this clean wiring over here. One thing I'm still undecided about is the trolling motor on this boat. I kind of want to fish it first and get a feel for if, it, if I even need the trolling motor. So what we're doing is we're pre-wiring it to make sure that if I decide to do it later on, we don't got to backtrack on anything. So it's going to be an easy install if we decide we want it. What do we have like in the box there? So we'll have electric reel, electric reel. This I'm gonna change out to a 40 amp. That'll be electronics main, house systems main, and then you'll have amplifier, and then this will be for trolling. Okay. So and everything's controlled on that one battery switch. Everything. Dual circuit. Now what's that? Switch. What's that black thing to the left of the battery That's switch? Your, uh, automatic charge relay so that's going to take your charge voltage the returns on your positive cable coming from the engine and basically what it does is when voltage is up on either side meaning battery a or battery b above 12 7 and not below like 10 and a half on the other it'll parallel the batteries and allow it to share that charge voltage okay and if, uh, you know, if you're sitting at the sandbar playing your music and you've been playing it too long and you discharge the battery, it'll break it away from the system to make sure that you're able to start your engine. How long are those batteries supposed to last us, you think? No, they'll get, they'll easily get five, six years out of it. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Compared to like a standard, yeah, that's a two year, uh, flood, regular flood at lead acid. I call it a, a two year battery. Okay, change my every two years. Paying 110 to 150 bucks for one, you do the math. Yeah, do it every six years. Yeah. Okay.